Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show how to add external email warning message in Office 365. First, log into Microsoft 365 Admin Center and then select Exchange. From Exchange Admin Center, click on Mail Flow and then select Rules. Now click Add a Rule and then select Create a New Rule. First, I'm going to name my rule. I'm going to call it External Email Warning Rule. So I named my rule. Now the next step is to create a condition. So I have here it says apply this rule if from the drop down, I'm going to select the sender. Next, I'm going to select is external slash internal. And then you will see this window popping up and then you can select outside the organization. Save this. So we have our condition. Now we have to tell the rule what needs to be done from the do the following. I'm going to click on the drop down and then I'm going to look for this option here it says prepend the subject of the message with and then I'm going to click on this option specified prefix and then I'm going to type external. I added prepend the subject of the message with external but I need to create my disclaimer. I need to click on this plus sign and then from the drop down, find apply the disclaimer to the message and then select prepend a disclaimer. Once you select prepend a disclaimer, click on enter text. And from here, you can add your text. So I already have one, which I'm going to include in the description of this video. And you can add that to your rule. Here, I'm going to add my uh, disclaimer and save. Once you add your disclaimer, there's an option you can click on select one. And then make sure you click on wrap here. You can add exception. For example, let's say you're getting emails from this company or this supplier, which you don't want to have this disclaim disclaimer added to the email. You can do that. You can click on the sender and then you can add the email address. But for this example, I don't have that. I'm going to click next here. So on this page, you have other options that you can, you know, enable or set based on your requirements. For example, we can under the rule mode, we can enforce this. We can test with policy tips. So it's totally up to you here on, on this uh, severity option. Again, it's up to you. I'm going to click on not specified. Otherwise, you can put it on medium, for example. You can activate this rule on a specific date. You, act, you can deactivate that, for example, for a week or so. You want to just use it. You can you can keep that activate or deactivate that. So everything looks good here. I don't want to add anything. I'm going to click next. On this page, I can review and finish my rule. So I'm going to take a look at it. If everything looks good, I'm going to click on finish here. So as you can see, the transport rule created successfully. I'm going to click on done. Here's my rule here. I'm going to click enable. So rule status update successfully. If I refresh my page, you can see my rule is enabled. Now I'm going to show you how my disclaimer is going to look like on Office on the web and Outlook app. So I sent it two test emails to my uh, to my account. And as you can see, the first one, it shows the external and then here's the subject and here's the, the disclaimer. But if you notice here, there's like the external is very close to the subject. So what I did, um, I added a dash and a space. So now it shows external and then you can easily read the subject of the email. Also kind of changed the, the disclaimer. So now it shows like this. I don't have access to the Outlook app on, on my computer. This is Outlook on the web. So it shows like this. I'm not logging to my test computer. I'm, not, I'm going to show you how it's going to look like if you're using the Outlook app versus Outlook on the web. And if you're wondering what I did, so here's my rule that I created. You can click on edit here. And from here, do the following. I click on the pen and a space and I save the, the setting. So now I'm going to log into my test computer and run the Outlook on the machine. I logged into my computer and as you can see, the disclaimer looked the same even on Outlook app. So there isn't much difference or there's no difference actually between Outlook on the web versus Outlook app. And that's how you can create disclaimer in Office 365. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.